Hey, what's good, man? It's your boy Tino Nino Brown, man. I just jumped back off the porch with my boy Dirty Glove Best. Yeah. Yeah. I do it for my hood, I don't think they feel me though. I put my life on these beats, but they don't hear me though. I can't count on no niggas. All right, so we got Chino Nino Brown jumping off the porch once again with us today, man. Yeah. How you feeling today, bro? Feeling good. Right back at it. Yeah, for sure, man. Yeah, it's been about a year, man. So it's about that time again, right, bro? Yeah, you know, I told y'all I was coming back. Definitely, was, man. I had to get my foot wet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had jumped off the porch in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. No, I appreciate you coming back by, man. And, uh, you know, you got some peoples with you today, man. So go ahead and uh, introduce everyone that's sitting on the porch with you also, man. Man, I got my bros with me, man. These, these are my partners. I talk to these niggas every day. You know what I'm saying? These ain't no, no fans, no nigga. I got my boy K-Marl, a nigga fame, the ass liquor. Um, nigga Cool's back there, my big boy. Big boy pull up back there. Who is back there? Oh, my boy Flame. And what's his name again? Him or that? Flame the ass liquor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. Uh, yeah. Don't I just had to make sure I heard that <laughs> right, man. Yeah. With the polynesia sauce, that's all. <laughs> you just say sweet and sour. <laughs> the original. Oh, that's wild, man. So, yeah, I like to see you guys travel. You know, it's all love, man. So, yeah. Definitely from last time. See, I was in this motherfucker by myself. Yeah, you was solo dolo, man. Yeah, be like that sometime. Yeah. So, you know, 2021's coming to an end, man. So, how would you describe how this year went for you, Chino? Man, this year, this year. I'm trying to think what all happened this year. I don't know. Well, like music wise, or you mean like? Just music, life in general. Oh, it was, compared to the rest of the year, it was a good year. You know what I'm saying? Music, money, wealth, health, all that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't lose so many people. I repeat to the ones I did lose, but compared to the rest of the years, like, I guess this was a good year. Yeah. It's always a blessing to be able to just make it through a full year, man. Right to see how like like young people just dying and shit just happening, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Every year is a bliss. Nah, definitely, man. And we see you got some new jewelry since last time too, man. So what, what, what you went ahead and cop this yeah, year, man? man? I, and I had to pipe myself up, you know what I'm saying? A little presidential, a little chino. I let them know, you know what I'm saying? See when I'm smoking. So when you see me, you can't miss a chino smoking weed. <laughs> 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 You know, smoking weed. Where'd you get the jewelry? Did you get it out there in the Carolinas, or where'd you go? Nah, I went to um, Chris. Chris the Jewel in downtown, which is downtown. Yeah, that's my boy. In okay. fact, when I leave here, I, I spent like 100000 for my birthday in jewelry. I got to go pick it up. Hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, get these get, 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 get streets and real rapper vibes. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, damn, nigga putting up 100000 jewelry. You boy, ain't playing, man. You plan, you know, with this industry, I see that you got to do that. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to keep certain things, even if you ain't made it yet, you got to live like, like you done made it for them to really understand. Like, dang, you know what I'm saying? They catch on, then they start following you, and then it's a train. Everybody catching on. You just got to keep doing it, stay consistent. Yeah, yeah it's definitely image based these days, man. They want to see it. You can't just talk that shit. You got to show it off, nah. to, off to them, too, you man. Talk that shit, and then you ain't on that shit. You know who coming. <laughs> nah, definitely, man. Yeah, so, you know, last time you were here, you talked about learning the music industry and the business, man. So, fast forward 12 months later, man, how much more have you learned this year, then? Man, I done, I done learned a lot. Like, I mean, not, I guess to say in a year, like from last time I came here to now, like, I learned enough, you know what I'm saying? To be like, man, all right, like, it's a process, I understand it. Like, now next year, we're going to go 10 times harder. You know what I'm saying? Like now I know I'm making money off my music. I see me making money off my music. I know if I drop this, I can watch it the first week, two weeks, three weeks. Like, dang, I done made, even if it's like $150, like oh, I remember I was getting $15 checks, yeah. $13 checks, now they're 150 like, If I just got one when I dropped the song, Me and Cody P, I think now it was like 330 You know what I'm saying? I can watch it, like money being made, my screen's going up, ain't going up. Like oh hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, but from where I was and now, I 
see the process just got to go harder now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Keep the same energy, just go 10 times harder. Nah, for real. It's all about elevation, you know? Each year, you kind of just want to, as long as you're progressing, man, you're doing it right, bro. Oh, God, that's it. Slow, slow process better than no process. That's what they tell me. Yeah, definitely. And do you have anyone you can turn to for advice on the music industry and the business aspect, or do you kind of learn it as you go? You know, like, it's, it's kind of like, it's, this uh, this how I kind of look at it now, like, you know, uh, it's like the dope game. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't had no big homie. I had to watch, listen, learn. You know what I'm saying? Make mistakes. Know not to do this again. All right, do it this way. All right, that's right, that's working. All right. You know what I'm saying? Like, this music shit, they ain't gonna really, like, unless you gonna pay them. Like, who just gonna go give a nigga an ounce for free? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I'm looking at it. Like, I'm, I'm kind of like learning it on my own. Like, you know what I'm saying? What well, it take me 10 years. Like, you know what I'm saying? I can show another, like I might show him. You know what I'm saying? I might show, I might show him how to do it. Like, man, I'm telling you, do it like this right here. You just like that. You know what I'm saying? Cause I done went through all the, the process, the steps. Like I know the do's and the don'ts. You know what I'm saying? I'm still learning myself. So like, I ain't really tripping. Like I'm gonna get me some money regardless. Like, I ain't even tripping with the rap shit, but if I learn the business, like I look at it like kind of like what Gotti do. You know what I'm saying? Like I can show another, I can show another person that might save their life. Like man, you do it this way, or I might even invest with them. Like you know what I'm saying? Cause I know how it gotta be done. Mm-hmm. No, that's real. Especially if you're passing that knowledge down to other people, right. man. Cause that's what that's what the game's all about, man. That's what you should be doing. They man. They ain't gonna do it. They're gonna run the game on you, full of crooks. <laughs> Full of crooks, man, I'm telling you. But that's every way. That's from yeah. the streets to however, like, even in politics, if they all crooks. Everybody crooks. Everybody's trying to be the motherfucker. Yep. You, <laughs> you know, know Snoop Dogg told us the game's to be sold, <laughs> not sold. That's what I'm saying. You got to respect it. Yep. That's why I ain't tripping. I'll figure it out. Yep. And what's been one of the biggest obstacles you had to overcome? What was one of the biggest challenges you had to overcome this year? Man. Shit. To be real, like, probably like kind of like separating like the fake love, bad energy, like that shit, like that was that that kind of like been on me hard this year, like you know what I'm saying? Everything else I can handle, like it was it was cool, like but that like it's hard to say like, damn, this is my man, I got real love for this man, you know what I'm saying? Like I fuck, like I give him anything. If he ever needs something, I got him. Like and the and the thing, one time like down, this nigga might got now cross you. This nigga might sit slime you out. This nigga might do anything to you. You know what I'm saying? Like even just to feel like this nigga any kind of threat, that shit like from like from the streets, like that shit fucked up. That shit had you like down. You don't know what to do. I don't know whether got now get him before he get me, or I don't know whether they got now just just distant myself or just keep it real. Like bro, like bro. You know what I'm saying? There's all kind of ways, you know what I'm saying? That shit, that shit will fuck with your mind. Like, real talk, that shit will fuck with you. Like, so that was really one of my things. Like, I, I ain't needed no fucked up vibes, no bad energy. If I felt, felt like you don't need to be around me, I would stand for around you and keep me from around me, you know what I'm saying? That was probably like one of the main things. Like, you see, like you say, I came by myself last time. I was in a, I was in a place then, like, I ain't want to talk to nobody. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't want nobody around me. But now, like, as shit, like, changing, like, I bring, I bring my bros in, like, all right, this how I gotta be. You gotta be loyal, you gotta be solid. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get some money regardless of all the other shit. Like, it's just like you rapping, all us rapping, all us hustling. That's what we do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? All us, somebody gonna make it to the top. All it takes is one person, one person. We all bosses. One person to the top, shit. Boom, boom, boom. Everybody in place. Now we got a movement. Now they looking like, damn, them boys, like, BMF. <laughs> no, that's real, man. <laughs> For real. So, how would you compare, or is there no comparison from the streets to the music industry, then? <laughs> shit, that's what it is. That's what it is. But the music, the music shit, be fake as hell, though. Like, like, like. That's why I fuck with like a lot of underground artists. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, like niggas I know. Like, now you just like me. You feel me? Like, I know you just like me. Look, I can tell when when I hit you. Like, when we do any type of business. And I can tell, like, yeah, he from the streets. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's that, that real shit, that other shit, fake. Niggas just want your money. 
you gotta go do 10 people, everybody making money off you, and it still ain't getting done right. Like, I ain't got time for that. That's what I had to learn. Like, fuck that. Like, you know what I'm saying? If it makes sense, it makes sense. If it don't, I ain't fucking with it. But I feel like you on some other shit I ain't fucking with. I'm, I'm straight. Yeah. No, I feel that, man. And kind of talk about your growth as an artist from last year up until this year, man. <laughs> yeah, I hear that a lot now. Yeah. I don't know, I think it's just kind of like, mostly it's confidence. Like, you know, I listen to a lot of music, like I see how everybody else come, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I want to be different, but I want to be hard, you know what I'm saying? Like, so when I get in there, it's like, like I'm, I'm on it, I feel it. I ain't making no music. If I don't feel it, I ain't, I ain't making it. I ain't doing it. I might not make a, make a song for a month straight. Like I, ain't, like, I ain't made a song in like a month and a half now. Oh, wow. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I know. When I get in there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I know it's time, like, I feel it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that, that's kind of like the biggest growth, like, me knowing, like, don't force it. Don't go in the studio every day. You know what I'm saying? Make a, make a song, 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 and don't like none of them. You know what I'm saying? Take your time. You know what I'm saying? You know what they want to hear. You know what you want. You know what's going on. They know what's going on. Just put it on the beat the right way. Let them know what's going on. That's it. It's also smart to kind of like live life so you have something to rap about too instead right. of going in there and just saying anything that comes to your head. Yeah, that'd be that, that'd be that elementary rap. You know what I'm saying? A, a real cat rap. And you can just juice it up and make it sound good and everybody, oh, that's hard. No, man, I ain't hear no shit like that, man. Bullshit. <coughs> nigga, ain't, most of them niggas, they only, only ain't got $10,000. They be on their jibber jabbing about being listening, hundred thousand dollar shit, man, shut the fuck up. I hear that shit. Bro. Only goofy looking that motherfucker. So how did you link up with Coley P at first, though? Man, like that goes that what I was just saying. Like I really like for with underground artists to the point where I know, like, dang, like I can I listen to his music, I vibe with his music. So when I hit him up, like. Like, I probably didn't hit up, I ain't gonna count, like, you know, I probably didn't hit so many artists up, like, but they kind of like more so on the main screen, like, and nobody wrote back. I wrote this man one time on one of his pitch. All I put the, all I put the money, the money bag on, he came straight to my inbox. He, I had already wrote him, but then I went under his, his pitch and wrote the money bag and he hit me right back. And, and see, ever since then, I, I, matter of fact, we recorded in there. Oh, for real? Yeah, we came to your studio and recorded the first song. Okay, the first one, yeah. Yeah, the first song we did. And ever since then, it's been all love. Like, I had I had Brain the Hood. I got a book for a show. Both of us got a book for a show. That shit was sold out. They down there. I'm like, the fire marshal said that bitch now. We need to get to perform. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, and, the, and like the streets, they, they fucking with the song. So, it's like, really, that's like kind of like my, my number one song. If you go on Apple Music or if I look up, like, my music that's being screened the most, that's the song, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I it's to a point where you females be singing it, like, you know what I'm saying? I do it for my hood and they don't feel me, though. Yeah, too. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. <laughs> you know, them female fans, those be the loyal ones, too, man. man. Those are the ones that gonna buy them tickets to them shows, too. Uh, I'm telling you, they gonna pull up, they gonna post that whole, they gonna do all that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So that. Like, like, bro, solid though. I, I fuck with him. I don't really fuck with too many niggas, but like, I fuck with him. Like, yeah. I, I started telling him to come up. I know he would have came, but like, you know. Now, Coley's a real down to earth, humble person too. Yeah, man. cool, cool. He came here. He came when he came here. He came by himself. Mm -hmm. I don't had him a bottle of henny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> took his tank top off with the work. You know what I'm saying? But shit, those the vibes you need. Like all that funny shit. Like niggas ain't on it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it looks like it's mutual respect too uh, with him. Right. Also, man. Yeah, yeah, for, for sure. Hey, like. that big. I don't want that old <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's talk about these three freestyles that you dropped, man. So, what was the inspiration going into these, man? Because you went crazy on these bitches. Back to back, I don't know. Like, you know, sometimes I get in the studio and I can't find the right beat. I can't find like, you know what I'm saying? So. Songs I like, songs that I feel like that lemon pepper freestyle. Like I felt that, like everything from start to finish, like that was great feelings. Like everything was great facts, all that shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like 
that was real. Like, so it was easy for me to go in there and, and make that. You know what I'm saying? It was already a hot beat, so it. You know what I'm saying? I forgot which of it was. That late back. As a matter of fact, me and brother, no, we was in the kitchen just, just playing, and Nation called me, and he pulled up, and I recorded it. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I dropped the video. Me and Rico shot the video. Like, face. Like, 20 minutes. All of us in the kitchen. Everybody quiet as hell. I'm in there recording. <laughs> That beatbox, my girl wanted me to do that beatbox, and that shit came out it was too hard. Yeah, I was gonna say, you killed that one, bro. Yeah. That shit was hard. That shit came out hard. I had to call Rico, like, I, like, bro, I need this shot right now. <laughs> and I need it back tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and I need it back the next day. I'm paying eggs, so I don't care what you told. I need this video shot today, and I need it in the morning. My boy can't do it. He like to play sometime, but he probably owe me about two videos now. <laughs> <laughs> he working though, man. He's seen behind the scenes. He working. Yeah, that my boy. Man. You know what I'm saying? We locked in. All right. And what about the song "Racks on Me," man? This is the uh, this is the latest one you dropped, right? Oh yeah, that's my shit. I'm not fight. Um, this nigga out here sent me a song, man. I don't know who he was recording with, but I'm like, man, I got to do a song for fame, man. Let me get on my shit, nigga. He don't like going to the real recording people. He like going to yeah, them. I'm still in the hood, you feel me? He, he like going to the closet, man. I tell you, man, you want the right seat, you gotta go to the right people, you know what I'm saying? But I was in the studio vibing that day, like, and I was like, damn, I'm gonna make something for me and fame. I had about 20 on me that day, so I was like, yeah, got my rights. The beat came on, rights when me came straight in my head. I dropped the verse, I mean, the on hook, put the verse on there, calling, he ended up doing the verse. Went to Miami, shot the video. It's definitely a gangster one, for real. Yeah. That's some motivational shit on that yeah. one, man. Yeah. You definitely. know what I'm saying? Any nigga you got some racks on, you gonna pull that hoe out like, yeah. You got to pull that bitch out. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, what about Big Dog, man? I fucked with this one, too. Big Dog. Damn, what's the name of this Big Dog? Damn, that's, that's hard. I fuck with it. That's kind of like my, that's how I was feeling. I'm a big dog, you know what I'm saying? I might not be a big dog in nobody else, but I'm a big dog myself, like, yeah. I don't really like that, you know what I'm saying? I'm in a, in a humblest way, like, can't be fucked with. You feel me? Yeah. yeah for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the creative process? Like, you just be freestyling, punching in, or do you actually write? See, now, like, I got my own, like, I got my own setup now, so, like, man, really, I got my own studio now, so I just go in there if I find the right beat. I listen to this to if I come up, I know what I'm gonna talk about and I just go punch it in until I come up with it. You know what I'm saying? Like I used to write music, I ain't write music all this year. You know what I'm saying? But it is it's easier for me now because like I don't gotta go to the studio, like I don't gotta go to a real studio. I can sit in my studio and, and just sit there and like take my time, mm -hmm. come up with it. Like you know what I'm saying? Like, like, so and my studio just got finished, so like coming in 20, 2022, like, it's about to be, it's about to be crazy. I might drop about 10 projects next year. It's about time, man, because yeah. I was going to ask about this Still Trapping 3. Yeah. We sat up here last year, hyped this thing up, and then well, yeah. it never dropped. You know, like, I'm going to tell you the thing about it, like, and, and, and it's crazy because it's, I got enough songs to still drop Still Trapping 3, and I still got all the songs that's, that was supposed to go on there. But, like, you know, like, the, like, I might make 10 songs, and within, like, the next month, I might make three, four songs. Like, damn, like, I don't sound like these three songs way harder than, harder than them 10. Like, I ain't even about to drop that, you know what I'm saying? Like, so every time, like, I just got to just drop that shit and just don't think about it. Because if I make music and I'm like, damn, them songs I'm about to choose, then in the meantime, I might start still making the music. Like, I might make three, four other songs. Like, damn. These bitches so hard, man. I'm telling you, I gotta put them on here. So now I'm all I'm all confused. Like, you don't know what to put on that. I don't bitch. know what to do. So I'm gonna just drop a little single real quick. I'm gonna drop a single and shoot a video. Drop a freestyle, shoot a video, so I can figure it out. Like, but really, like, I got over a hundred songs that I ain't no never dropped yet. Like, I just I just gotta drop them and stop thinking about it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if they even though they older me, like mm -hmm. nobody heard them. You know what I'm saying? And they still hard. So it's just, it's 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 more so me, like. I got enough music now on this to drop all next year. You know what I'm saying? But with myself, I ain't gonna be satisfied with it, like, you know. 
So I, I see how like the industry niggas got to do it. Like you kind of got to lock in. Yeah. I'm gonna lock in right now. I'm gonna do this whole this whole mixtape. I'm gonna lock in this month. I'm gonna do me a whole mixtape. You know what I'm saying? And then just drop it. Cause if I could just continue like just every day like not looking to make no mixtape, I'm just making music, making music, making music, making music. It's crazy. It's, it's, shit don't be no easy job, man. Then it's just me. Like I still don't got no manager. I still don't got. I don't got none of that. Everything is done. I do it myself. You know what I'm saying? And that's the part of learning the game. That's why I don't mind. I ain't tripping. I ain't going to ice. I ain't looking for no manners. Like, really, I ain't even looking for no help. That's how I feel about it. That's my approach to the whole situation. Like, I'm just, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to go get it. No matter what it is, this route shit, I'm going to go get it. I'm going to make it happen. Yeah, that way you don't have to answer to anyone either. You drop what you want, when you want. You feel me? I mean, you, can't, you can't just come sell me sugar. <laughs> Can't send me sugar. You know what I'm Let's saying? See. So what's the next single or video you plan to drop? You got something stashed away? Yeah, I'm you know, my birthday coming up. So um, I'm debating on dropping an E P. But, you know, me and Cola we did another song. Um and we shot the video, so Okay. I, I was debating whether I just should just drop that song and just keep the momentum off the last song, you know, like and I got so many songs in the cut. Like I, I done worked with a couple of different artists this year. Like and I ain't even dropped it. Like I'm talking about that hard. Like you, you heard the MGM lit. Mhm. Mm he hard as shit. Hard as hell. You know what I'm saying? I got a song with him. on um, 24 Heavy. Mhm. Mm that's uh, my boy right that's there. Dope. Yeah. He, he solid for sure. I ain't gonna cap. Man, you gotta drop these songs, Gina. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> and you remember last time I came on here, I told you about the song with me and Rennie. I never dropped it. Mm -hmm. I was you gonna know? ask about that one too. Man, you know what I'm saying? Like me and bro they got songs. You know what I'm saying? Me and nephew, we got shit on the way. Like it's just like it's so much to it. Like damn, I just like, <laughs> fuck. I gotta do. I'm gonna get it together though. We coming in strong though. You nah, know what definitely. I'm saying? We yeah. we starting something. We starting something that's gonna be special, and they can't deny it. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? So that's that's the beauty of it. That's the love of it. That that's 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 the way I get a thrill out of it. Like damn, seeing like it ain't just me. Like I see the same thing in these niggas. You know what I'm saying? I see the same potential in them. Like, but I got kind of like drilling in their head. Like you gotta go hard. Keep making music. Keep dropping videos. You know what I'm saying? Get your money. Keep doing. It. Keep going. Keep going. Put it in their face. Make them hate it. Make them call you every day. Like damn, bro, what you on? Yeah, the same thing I'ma know when I was fucked up. You know what I'm saying? You got that's what you gotta do. You gotta make them feel you. You can't like ain't nothing. They niggas be clowning. They, they it's so much the world fucked up right now. So it's like you got you you gotta force your hand. You gotta force your hand. You gotta like yeah, I'm like that. You feel me? Real shit right there, man. Yeah, for real. That's what I'm trying to do. It is coming together. Ain't no rush. So who are some of the producers you've been working with lately? Yeah, I stick to the screw. I, I ain't really even been working with no different from um producers. I, mean, I suppose to um if I seen um Nico and Jetson in the club like a couple of weeks ago. I was supposed to um, get up with them and do some songs, but I mean, you know what I'm saying? My, my, my partner, 4 5, I've been really like fucking with him. Like, I can call him right now, like, bro, send me like five beats. I mean, I'm in the studio, and 45 minutes, he's gonna send me five hard beats. You know what I'm saying? So, how can I not fuck with a nigga like that? You feel me? Like, and he ain't gonna ask for no money until I like, like, I'm, I'm fucking with this. So, you know what I'm saying? Even if I don't use them, I might still pay him for the beat. Like, fuck, I'm gonna get off five of them. You know what I'm saying? If you loyal to me, I'm loyal. I got, I ain't got no choice but to be loyal to you. You know what I'm saying? I ain't got to run out there and spend four thousand, five thousand on the beat. When my man right here, he might want two fifty, five hundred. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you my partner, like fuck it, I ain't tripping. Nah, I dig that, man. So going into 2022, Chino, like what's some of your plans? What's some of your goals for this next new year, man? Apply pressure. You know what I'm saying? This year was just the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? I just put my chess pieces in and got in that place. 2022, like, like I said, my studio finished. I got songs on deck, you know what I'm saying? Me and my cameraman locked in. I got my niggas, like, we 
it's, it's about it's about it's about to be for real 2022 I promise you that's my word and i'm gonna come back again i'm gonna come back real i'm gonna come back in the beginning of 2022 <laughs> you, you know go. what i'm saying i'm coming right back I'll let you know i ain't playing no game yeah now drop that ep and come on back man i'm telling you let's talk on. about it <laughs> let's talk about it for sure all yeah. right got any last words for your fans any shout outs you like to give before we wrap it up here and Shout out my bros, man. It came, it came with me. I know, you know how that support shit be. You know what I'm saying? Like, regardless of what it is, like that support, that shit kind of, that shit kind of like you gotta have that. You know what I'm saying? My city, you know the north, you know what's going on with us. Uh, everybody that's rocking with Chino, if you got them download, if you ever bought anything, you even ever shouted me out. Share anything, anything, man. I love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We going up this year. Yeah. I do it for my hood. I don't think they feel me though. I put my life on these beats, but they don't.